Hi everybody, it's Michelle, and I'm coming to you today from Hello Kitty Corner. Check it out. These are a lot of my Hello Kitties that I collect. Um, I know beautiful Alicia really loves Hello Kitty, and um, she was wanting to see some of the kitties, and I told her I'd make my next video from Kitty Corner. This is actually in my bedroom, and um, I've got little bitty kitties and some kitties with bears and things. This one's one of my favorites. I even have a dress me kitty. Oh, and we can't forget baby kitty. <laughs> I have some random doll outfit on this thing. Baby kitty. She's also was wanting to see um, my tattoos. So, this one is my Karofi. There's a Karofi behind me. Karofi. And then on this arm, I have Hello Kitty, Monkichi, and um, Bats Maru. Can't really see. There we go. Bats Maru and a little sunshine. All done in um, Sanrio style. So, this is a My Melody that's a bat scrubber. Crazy, huh? So, I've got all kinds of kitties. Love Hello Kitty. Anyway. I don't know what is up with Ooh, I'm making myself dizzy here. Okay. So um this is nine and a half months post op video. And I'm happy to report that um today my weight is 130 pounds. I started out this journey at 225 pounds and had um ruin white gastric bypass on September um twenty fifth. 2012 and um, today I'm 130 pounds and um, even more great than being 130 pounds is the fact um, the things that I have done this past week this past week I ran over 10 miles I ran a one mile race which um, my race videos are on here which I fell and got hurt pretty bad. As a matter of fact, my knee is still really healing. Um, I took a day break and then ran three miles and then ran another three miles the next day and then rested a day and um, ran my first 5K. So if you're friends with me on Facebook, you've seen um, my post-race pictures from my 5K and you know that um, I did it in 36 minutes and 44 seconds, which is about, you know, a 12-minute mile pace. And I'm only 4'11 to 5 feet tall. So you have to understand that my stride is much less than the average person. Because um, I'm really, like, child size, Seriously. And, um... For me to even run at all is just a miracle because I have been, um, in the last several years, pretty much uh, in a wheelchair, definitely with a uh, walker, cane, um, scooter, some sort of device to help me get around. And there's no saying that this uh, activity level is going to stay how it is. But I sure am hoping that it does. But that doesn't mean that I'm not in pain. I am in pain all day, every day. And yes, I hurt when I run. Before I do it, I put um, Theragesic, which is like a Bengay, but it's really, really strong. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm actually prescribed several tubes of this um, a month. But you can buy it at Walgreens. Very potent. Theragesic. 
Okay, I put this all over my whole body. Minutes before I run, a half hour before I run, plus pain medicine, you know, and this is what it takes for me. So it's not easy, and it's not definitely not pain free. So I did my run, and it's not going to be the last run that I do. Um, I ran, to, and today was another victory. I ran one full mile without stopping or walking. And that was a big goal for me because I previously had not been able to um, continue to run. I'd have to, like, stop and walk. And even my 5K, I walked just a little bit. Um, but I did walk a portion. And it really is my goal to be able to do that run without stopping. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um... I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I think I'm a little bit exhausted just from all the workout. You know, I said today I really um, I ran again. I ran two miles today and um, swam. Um, been trying to eat as healthily as possible. I watched a video on here. Someone was using the Faye, um Greek yogurt and making their own yogurts out of it and I wish I could remember who posted that video but I just can't and um, they were showing how you mix it all together and um, how much protein you get from that and I have to say that the plain unsweetened yogurt that's Faye there's something about the aftertaste that I just do not like it is not agreeing with me but I have managed to eat at least one cup yesterday and one cup today so far and um I, you know, I put some blueberries in it this morning, and, uh, and it, you know, the taste wasn't my favorite, although some people really, really like it, the taste wasn't my favorite, but I got it down, and that's 23 grams of protein in a cup of that, so, you know, that's pretty great. Um, I've also been switching over, um, some of my little midday meals and things to being, like, uh, chicken breast, you know, with tomato and things like that. So that's what I'm aiming for. Although, you know, I'm probably never going to stop having like the little mini ice cream as a treat at night. And I know that some people have a problem with this, but for me it is, it's not an issue or a problem. I know exactly why I do it and um, I will continue to do it. And if that little ice cream is what's going to make me become an obese person again, then um, the problems are much bigger than that little ice cream. Because this is a very controlled, small, 100-calorie portion. We're not talking about some big ice cream cone from God knows where that, you know, I'm just eating and eating. It's a controlled portion, and it's not every single day. I, you know, rotate it around with some other things, and I'm actually going to try doing... Um, the Faye yogurt for a few days, but it is, it just is what I do, and um, I know that it's not everybody's preference, but I'm not coming from a place where I was um, as large as some. The majority of my weight, I believe, was put on simply because of my mobility issues and um, because of medication, the steroids. So I don't know that eating was really ever a big problem for me. And maybe I'm blind, you know, and maybe I do need that tough love. But um, nevertheless, I'm going to, to um, probably continue to have, uh, to allow myself to have one small 100 calorie something or another um, in the evening because that's what I want to do. That's what I'm doing. Not that it's what I need or what I have to have or that it's even a problem. I can, you know, it's sometimes it's fruit, sometimes it's yogurt, sometimes it's a little ice cream cone, sometimes it's, you know, it's just what I eat at seven o'clock and that's, and that's when the day ends. So that's just what I do. And um, I wanted to mention it because, you know, for some people that would be a problem and they can't 
do that. Um, food addictions, you know, you got to watch. But I am active. I am very, very active. And um, if for some reason I was to become not active again, then certainly um, that would be replaced with uh, some sort of uh, protein thing, a very high protein something. But it probably still would happen at the same time, whether it be tuna or whatever, same time, because that's just what I do. That's my schedule. That's what that's what I do. So um, anyway, that's uh, what I've got for you for right now. I better get going before this YouTube decides to cut me off. So thanks everybody who's watching. Please subscribe, like, rate, all that jazz. And um, I'll see you for my 10 month update or maybe before then. See you later guys. And hi Alicia. Love your kitty stuff. Bye.